conclusions aren't right or wrong. They're simply written. You know, I didn't have a problem with the statement at first. But then I started to unpack it. My problem is that the longer I'm written, I find that in literally being somebody else's idea, I start to feel trapped by the fact that that I should be living up to that somebody else's ideals. And as an actual comic book character, you have no choice in doing anything but just that. Living up to somebody else's ideals. Somebody else will always be holding the not so proverbial pencil in my life. And despite my heavy outline, I constantly find myself longing for this feeling of self-ownership that I'll never be allowed to have. Now, Z was a guy that didn't really like himself. Zach existed as if something was constantly bugging him. Guilt loomed around him thicker than the asshole drew fog. Guilt about what I tell me, but I do know that it was guilt, so I, I guess the desire to draw a few pages of my own from time to time came from a 60-year existence of wanting to escape this looming pain that I came to know as my creator's obtuse and lifelong guilt. Guilt he seemed to harbor every time he dealt with I may have come to know my creator, but that didn't make it simpler or easier. It wasn't privilege. And now, hell, I'm not sure if I'm left feeling honored or used. So no, nothing is ever simply written. Anyway, that's what this one's about. I've got a monkey on my back Filling my ears with shit and smack It seems I lost all self-control Was it really this? surfaced 
for nothing more than a conversation and a little old music from me. Take your flowers. <laughs> Look, it would be great if you would if you would tell me what you saw in Z's last issue. Right. Hate to fucking push you. Like you're fucking pushing. Look, Badger, I am all for autonomy. And I get that you're grieving, but well, I'd prefer you not assume I'm grieving. You aren't protecting me by keeping a dead guy's secrets about my ending, you know? You're just keeping me in the dark. Now, you might like living there, but I sure as fuck don't. Like you could have fooled me. Yeah? Th then we're the fucking same. <laughs> Come on, Dave. We've been stalking you for a week just to get some answers. I've seen you cut a guy's head off with your left foot. What do you think I can't take? Look, I don't want to do this here, okay, Sam? This is kind of my happy place. Let's not ruin it with laser beams and foot cloth. Pretty depressing happy place. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. You really are a fucking coward. Now don't call me a coward. Well then don't be a coward. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. I kill you. Huh? I kill you. Is this a threat? What's happening? No, don't you fucking jackass. I kill you. Foot. Pretty well through your thick skull, face in first. Oh. Jesus. Well, just give me an open casket and shoot. Fuck. It's rated M. For a mature. mature. <laughs> Neither of us look too pretty, I promise you that. Release was delayed. Wonder didn't want to put it out. It was too bloody, too dark, too violent, too. You? Yeah. They wanted Z to change it, despite his condition, but he refused. He gave it to me before he concluded. They wanted him to change it, but he didn't. He didn't have time. Or he was attached to a rope. Either way, it's the ending we have, and he's dead now, and they're releasing it within a week with the big M for, for mature. mature. <laughs> Oh, you really killed him. Fuck. I know. So... So this explains your, uh, your recent introspective spiral. That's what Creature called it. <laughs> How are you so calm right now? Yeah, we're comic book characters, my friend. We don't have much choice in how we're drawn. Also, I try to stay raucously drunk. <laughs> so what's the, what's the lead up? Hmm? Lay it on me, shark kicks. I need context. I, I just skipped to the last page. Bullshit. I swear, look, look, I'm not like creature. I like living life with a few surprises. Wow. I'm sorry, Sam. About what? Uh, you getting killed off, you, you ginger? I don't know, take your pick. Oh, is that all? You know, I knew you'd handle this well. <laughs> Fucking prick. <sighs> Fuck, Badge. What are you even doing here? Well, this is your art to shine, and you're, you're hiding. You're the Badger, for fuck's sake. Your feet are nine. You, you cut off Nazi heads with your roundhouses. You, you don't play folk music to drunk townies. This isn't you. Yeah, well, what if it is? Well, we've got 60 years of forced dialogue that would say different. Look, <laughs> Sam, if I wanted to shrink, you would have been my last call. Okay. Well, I'm going. Before you kick me in the face and kill me, you fucking psycho. <laughs> You're just going. I think I should tell Creature the end. Well, we, we haven't done time travel in a while. And maybe he can build us a, a time machine or something so he can redoodle our little, uh, whatever it's gonna be. Bloody. It's gonna be bloody. Good. Z always made his endings count. He was a damn good writer. We got lucky. Yeah, did we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Trust me. 
I'm not so sure about that. Wait a minute. What did you just say to me? Trust me? Hey, Batch, can I ask you something before I go? You're going. If you only read the last page, <laughs> how do you know the ending is so wrong? Don't answer. Just, just think about that. It's a cliffhanger. I was always good for those. 